Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how we can configure this uh, routing between the micro frontend. In the last video, we discussed about how we can initialize this micro frontend with the single SPA micro frontend framework. Uh, to show you this uh, con routing configuration, I came up with a small example. As you can see, I have created this uh, simple login page and this login page inside my auth micro frontend. So if you don't know about this auth micro frontend, actually in the previous video I have initialized this auth micro frontend and root micro frontend. This is the second part of the video series. And let's see what will happen after I enter these credentials. Here you can see we navigated to a dashboard screen, right? And this dashboard screen in my dashboard micro frontend. So I have included a couple of menu items here. So whenever we click on each of menu item, you can see the content is dynamically loading in the right side. And also, you know, you will notice like path is changing accordingly. Yeah. So when you go to document, you can see it will be the path will be dashboard documents and content loaded as the document content. And also I have added this uh, sign out uh, functionality as well. So if you click on the sign out, uh, you will retreat to the login page. Okay, uh, let's see our code base. As you can see, we have auth micro frontend, dashboard micro frontend, and the root micro frontend. So, if you still don't know how to initialize this micro frontend, I suggest you to watch my first video in the series, right? And I did another change here. As you can see in my parent directory, I have this package JSON. In package JSON, I have concurrently as a dev dependencies the reason i have added this because i need to run each and every micro frontend in the parallel manner so instead of giving instead of navigating the every micro frontend and, and giving the npm start i feel like it's a bit cumbersome so that's why i went with this approach so let's see what will happen after i uh, run this start all command you can see our three micro frontend have started and running on the port we have given okay uh, let's see our root mfe first and inside the src folder we have this index.tjs and the first thing is i have included this uh, tailwind css here but uh, it's not recommended in the production environment since i need to showcase this how this routing are working uh, inside this uh, micro frontend architecture i just added here and uh, other change was uh, I have included this import uh, since I, as I already mentioned, I have initialized new micro frontend called dashboard micro frontend and here you can see I set the port as 9003 on um, on my uh, dashboard micro frontend in, inside the package JSON. And uh, if we go to the micro frontend layout.html, so here I have added some different, different configuration, right? First thing is I have included a new route called a dashboard and i set the path as dashboard and when i navigate to this dashboard route i wanted to load this uh, dashboard micro frontend and other thing was uh, i added two redirect uh, paths so first one is if i go to this uh, path i need to redirect to login so let's see whether it's working or not we are in uh, this uh, login route right and what happened if we go to this route so you can see it's automatically read it to again to the login that's the one and other one is if we go to the dashboard slash login also i wanted to redirect to login so how we can check that one so in order to check that one we need to log into the system okay so in order to check that one we need to sign out right you can see it automatically redirect to login but uh, i think uh, you guys haven't seen whether it's the url is changed or not but let's see whether we can see it properly so i'm going to comment this one first then uh, let's again log in to this one okay now let's click on sign out yeah you can see uh our pass is dashboard slash login so as i mentioned in my redirect route here yeah? so if it is dashboard slash login i need to redirect to the login so let's uncomment this and i think it should be automatically uh, redirect to the login page so that's the about uh, in our changes we have done in our root micro frontend and let's see in our auth micro frontend now
as you can see in my auth microphone deck the first thing is i have installed this uh, react router dom because the react router dom is the main uh, dependency that will help to do the navigation between the micro front end and also the inside uh, our particular react application and uh, next thing is in my root component as you can see i have wrapped my login screen with the browse route so you can see the browse router import from react router dom and the importance of browse router is uh, it will keep ui sync with the browse urls and if you go to this uh, login screen and this is the typical react component and uh, i have the form here and i have two input for the email and the password and also you can see i have set this value in my uh, state uh, email and password and uh, when i click on sign in button i am triggered this handle submit method and inside handle submit method as you can see i have hard coded this email and password for the showcase and after that i setting the setting up this uh, token in my local storage and finally i navigate to the dashboard url here you can see i am navigate actually the dashboard micro front end since i have set this path in my root micro front end uh, html the layout html page as i uh, mentioned and showed you before so when i navigate to this url it automatically mounted this uh, dashboard micro front end so let's see how it's working anyway again and in and i wanted to mention uh, something important you can use this single spy inspector this is a, a chrome extension you can use to check how your uh, micro front ends are mounted and unmounted in uh, in your browser as you can see what was the current micro front end loaded Here you can see now it, it is uh, called the auth micro front end and okay now you can see the dashboard micro front end has mounted and the auth micro front end has not mounted right this is the one i wanted to show you how this uh, navigation works from auth micro front end to dashboard micro front end and let's see now in our dashboard micro front end right inside now package json of uh, dashboard micro front end i already installed this react router dom and if you go to the root component uh, i did a different change here you can see I have set the dashboard as the base name in our browser router. The reason I have added this base name because uh, you remember in our root micro front end, uh, if you go to the layout.html, you can see we are loading our dashboard micro front end when we navigate to dashboard path. So that's the one reason we are adding this uh, uh, the base name in, as a dashboard in our root component, right? The whatever path inside in the dashboard micro front end start with dashboard. So let's see uh, one of our menu item now. So if you go to our dashboard screen, go to our dashboard screen, uh, here I have the array called navigation, right? This is the array we are iterating to uh, load this uh, menu item in the sidebar. In the dashboard menu item, so I set the path as just a slash. But if you go to the browser, let's log in to this again. So here you can see we are navigate on the dashboard path you can see we the active element already is the dashboard menu item in the sidebar right so that's the beauty of the having this routing guys so here it just slash it's mapped this with the base name so actually the base name coming as dashboard so if we go to this path it automatically active this first menu item because we are setting uh, it with the slash again i wanted to go to the app.js guys so app.js uh, we have the main purpose of uh, having this uh, use effect is let's say someone come into our system without login uh, and let's let's check guys uh, whether what happens someone come into the, without login to the dashboard or the the base the url right so let's see uh, let's see first and we need to remove this jw token and after that uh, we need to refresh that this one yeah, you can see it automatically read to login page and also if you go to this part also it should be redirected to the login page right and if you go to this uh, dashboard screen page now the dashboard screen what i wanted to show first is this navigation array right so you have already seen in our sidebar we have a couple of menu items so this is where it's coming from right so this is the array and i will show how we can iterate those things in the uh in our this component right 
So here you can see so each of the element include with the name, path, icon, component. So component actually, uh, I just use the div element, but you, you can have the separate components as well. And let's see how we can configure these things in our sidebar. Here you can see I am iterating the navigation array first. Then uh, you can see I have uh, set the link and this link coming from the React Router DOM. And I set the item path for the two. And two is the prop that uh, having the link in the class name. I am dynamically loaded this class in right. You can see I have the I have used this ternary operator. So yeah, what I am checking is item path is equal to location dot path. The location is also coming from use location that uh, coming from the React Router DOM. And whether the condition is true, so it uh, giving the change background color along with the uh, different text color. So let me show you. So let's see if you click the teams, you can see the background color has changed and uh, uh, the test color and icon color have also have changed. The final thing is uh, since you have seen how this uh, content is loading dynamically when we click particular menu item here. So here you can see I have used the routes and route. So these the both coming from the uh, React Router DOM. So here you can see uh, here also I am iterating this navigation array in here. Uh, with route right so i am setting the key path and the element so element i am setting the item dot component uh, let me know if any doubts regarding this video i am always willing to help you guys so if you have any question please uh, add in the comment section uh, if i have time sometime i i definitely uh, reply them and uh, and also make sure to like uh, subscribe and share the video and uh, see you guys in the next video bye